Hi all, let's uh, talk today a little bit about uh, catch cans and why we actually put catch cans on these cars. Well, on this one I've got a Mishimoto catch can just on the PCV side. A lot of people put two on, um, you know one on the PCV side, one on the other side. Don't see any, don't see any point in putting one on the other side. Uh, it doesn't catch much at all, if any. Um, so it's just a bit of a bit of a gimmick. Um, but the one on the PCV side, as I say, I've got the Mitchell one. Let's take it off and we'll have a look, and uh, it'll t show you what it actually does catch. Now this was emptied uh, probably a thousand k's ago, so I'm expecting there not to be much in here. Quite simple, just screws off. A few turns. Okay. Now let's have a look inside. There's a little bit in there. So a little bit of blow-by, a bit of oil, a bit of fuel, a um, bit of moisture as well. That's why it's so brown. Take it out here and light a bit more. You'll see it a bit, bit better. See, there's not much in there. But if you can imagine after, you know, 10,000 Ks, how much it would catch. And that's going into your inlet manifold. Um, you don't really want that in there, I don't think. It's better off uh, emptying it out. And uh, so that's why we have a catch can. I mean, Mission Moto one's quite good. 10 minute install, as you can see. Top bolt there. Little bolt under this if you've got it. Now, if you haven't got that little stud down there, I don't know if you can see it. Down under there, don't worry about it. The top bolt's plenty, we'll hold it on. Um, two hoses, a couple of clamps, you know, 10, 15 minute install. Does pay to have a little bit of hot water to heat the hose up to get it on that back one because it is pretty hard to get it in there. It's a bit fiddly. But other than that, it's um, quite easy. All right, uh, that's it for today. Um, hope you enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget, like it and subscribe. Cheers.